All right, I think it's time to explain. Here I selected three nodes. Now if I uh, drag, I will get three of them affected. And in this example I select both of these. And drag, affect both of them. Control click, give it the ability to change the type. From fillet to invert fillet to chamfer and um, inverse chamfer. Uh, inverse, not invert. I think it's the same though. Let's right. select like these two and also take chamfer one or fillet. Here you can change the units. And here you can change the method, I'll explain that later. You can change the radius of all the nodes. Alright. And here we can change the type of the corner. From fillet to chamfer and no, inverse fillet inverse. The chamfer um you have the uh, ability to change the chamfer steps. This works only with the chamfer or inverse chamfer, as you can see. Alright. Now Let's move to uh, to some other with the change only selected nodes enabled. This way you can select a couple nodes uh, and then change their radius value to 20 for example. And now only the selected nodes will be affected. And if you enable hide knots, you will hide the green knots. And this is good if you want to move your uh, nodes to change the uh, shape of your object. We disable apply changes if radius uh, equals zero. This will stop us from um, affecting the uh, corners that have a radius value of zero. I give an example. Here, these two in the top have has they have a uh, value of 30, I guess. Only these will be affected because all the others uh, they have a value of zero. Now if I um, do the opposite, enable the apply changes if radius equals zero, and disable apply changes if radius is greater than zero, this will do the opposite. For example, I have these two on the top, they have a value greater than zero, and the others, uh, e they equal to zero. If I change only the uh, corners that had a value of zero, or the radius, will be affected and the uh, other on the top will not be affected. Alright, now let's talk a little bit about the method. As you can see, the uh, method here in the settings. One second. Oh. As you can see, we got this res weird result. I don't like that. So uh, let's go to method. It's uh, an auto. I think auto is uh, is the same as force arc. I think because I always get I always get the same result using the auto. So force arc is the same as auto for me. Uh, now if I go to ch choose force bezier, I got this great result, and I like that much better. At least in this case, if you have a um, you know a weird. Uh, shape that you want to achieve. I'll give you some examples of uh, the shortcuts that we have. 
the first one is control click will give you the ability to change the type shift click will open a dialog or window you have the ability to change the uh, type of corner note distance you have the ability to the note distance and also the uh, chamfer subdivision control alt click will reset to default right that's it for the uh, video and hope you learned something and thanks for watching